What's up, peoples? Welcome back to See These CDs, where in each one of these videos I take a closer look at a select CD from my own personal collection and highlight its cover art, packaging, and overall uh, design for the CD. Uh, if you haven't already figured it out, today we're going to be covering uh, the Locks Money, Power, Respect, or Money, Power, and Respect, um, which was released under Bad Boy Records um, January 13th, 1998. Uh, it clocks in at uh, you know a little bit over an hour at 67 minutes and 21 seconds. Um, as far as the design goes, it was handled or it was credited to. Um, all right, so it was it was really difficult to find anything on this person. I struggled. Um, the person or you know I don't know if it's a company. Uh, it, it was credited to stereotype uh, with stereotype, and then there was like three parentheses on each side of it. Um, so when I, you know, try searching for that, the only thing that, you know, or what, you know, was coming up for us, uh, first and foremost was, um, cause I put, I put like, you know, I put like stereotype definition comes up of the word. And then like, if I put, you know, stereotype the locks, it stuff comes up about Jewish people and some bread pastry or whatever. So yeah, I mean, if anybody can let me know something about this stereotype person or company or group, whatever it is, that'd be great. Comment below. Uh, I love, you know. Love more information. Uh, but like I was saying, design accredited a stereotype. Um, while art direction was uh, handled by Terry Haskins, um, which he didn't really have too much of a you know a resume uh, from what I can see online, um, or at least there wasn't really too much in regards to like music. Um, nothing really else popped up aside from music. But the only things I really saw um, was uh, he was the creative director uh, for East Point's Greatest Hit. Uh, I believe the group is uh, Cool Breeze. Um, and then there was uh, the CD Emotional um, by Carl Thomas, which he handled the wardrobe design for. Um, so, yeah, not not too much, you know, in his resume. But, I mean, um, as far as, like, art direction for this CD, it's, it's pretty dope. I mean, granted, it is very much uh, it's, it's very fitting for the times, like, you know, like the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, but still, you know, I, I like that. It's like a glimpse from that time era. It's not super dated. I would, you know, I would say it's timeless uh, because, like, well, I mean, at, at the very least, the music is certainly timeless. And, you know, I don't think the visuals really take away from that in any any type of way. Um, it's, you know, it's pretty dope. It, it captures the locks, you know, the, the trio at that, uh, you know, point in time, which if you don't know uh, or you're not aware of the locks, it's uh, composed of Jadakiss, Styles P, and um, uh, Sheik Lush. Uh, I didn't mean to, you know, forget Sheik Lush. I was just trying to remember, like, who I already named out of that trio. Uh, but, yeah, so, you know, they're the rap collective, amazing MCs, like, you know, amazing MCs. They're all dope. Um, but, yeah, check them out. This CD, like, you know, I don't know. For me, at one point in time, I was listening to it, like, multiple times in a day. Uh, just on my commute from here to there. Uh, it just kept me in, like, the right state of mind. You know, like, you know, when you're, like, tired of, like, fucking grinding and shit like that. Going from job to job in school. You know, whatever the fuck you're doing. Um, but, yeah, you know, it just, it just kind of kept me, like, you know, I guess, like, focused a little bit. And um, they, they, at the same time, like, they all exemplify, like, you know, amazing uh, know, songwriting, but as well as rapping goes. So, you know, it also teaches you a little bit about that. But, yeah, it's not to be said about the music. Uh, let's get back to, like, you know, the whole, uh, I guess, like, design uh, of, you know, the packaging and whatnot. Because, uh, you know, this is see these CDs. We're not here to listen. We're here to, you know, see the CDs, uh, you know, unless you're listening to me. Um, but uh, as far as, like, the photography goes... Um, that was handled by Doni, uh, Daniel Tony Montcamera Hastings, uh, which I guess they're also the founder of Lab 1228. Uh, that person, or, you know, I guess what should I call him? Uh, Tony Montcamera, because it's Daniel Hastings, but I guess his nickname is Tony Montcamera. Uh, he's also credited not only as a photographer, but a uh, music video director. That's not in regards to, you know, uh, the lock CD or money, power, and respect. It's just you know in general these you know the, the multiple hats that he wears. Uh, he's the founder of uh, Adam Mocus. It's like Adam, Adam Mocus, Adam Mocus. It's it's really weird. It's like the word Adam and then it's like I C U S. So however that's pronounced, films. Um, uh, he's also he's worked with like you know a lot of like heavy hitters from you know who were popular around this time era as far as like hip hop goes. Uh, he's a pretty lengthy resume in general. Uh, there's a few of the names, or, you know, uh, bodies of work that like I picked apart. I thought were interesting. He's he's affiliated with several KRS, uh, you know, CDs. Um, you know, as far as like the visuals go, um, you know, Enter the Thirty Six Chambers by the Wu uh, Wu Tang Clan. If you're not you know too familiar with uh, 
There are other monikers. Um, there was, uh, you know, Rakim, or I mean, I'm, excuse me, Raekwon, uh, Heaven and Hell. Uh, he, you know, he had something to do with the visuals for that or responsible for, like, designing uh, the cover art graphics, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, there, was, there was also Jodeci, Diary of a Mad Band. Uh, he had, you know, something to do with the visuals for that. And um, uh, several Gangstar projects, one of which uh, that, you know, I thought was particularly interesting was Hard to Earn uh, because it, it's uh, somewhat similar to, you know, the design of, like, uh, this cover. Um, I don't know if Gangstar went to him and, you know, asked uh, for something, you know, like the Locks cover. Um, matter of fact, now I'm thinking about it. I wonder when that Hard to Earn came out. But I mean, we'll, we're covered Hard to Earn in a you know a later CD. I, I definitely have access to some Gangstar CDs. I just noticed like the uh, similarities between between like the design, uh, you know, having the group on the front, and then even some of the hues of the colors are somewhat similar. Even though Gangstar is a little bit more of like an orangish uh, hue uh, to the cover and you know the overall like theme of uh, the aesthetic. Uh, but yeah, no, I just thought that was interesting. So you know that that's that's essentially like the uh, the creative team uh, behind you know the whole design for this art cover. But yeah, we can definitely get into it. Uh, from first glance, it is just like you know it's a typical uh, plastic CD uh, case covering. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I, I definitely think the execution was handled properly. Uh, it's not like slacking or anything like that. Uh, so we pick it up on the side. Uh, we have the uh, once again the locks, uh, money, power, respect. The title, Bad Boy Records, at the top right there. Try and get a little more focus. If we can do that, if we can do that, can we get it focused? Oh, can we? Get, we almost had it focused. We are struggling right now. Let's see if we can. Uh, uh, it's like getting in focus and uh, focus. oh, there we go. Wow, that only took how long? Then we got digital stereo at the you know bottom there. I'm not sure what that refers to. Uh, but yeah, uh, if we want to flip around, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that is something that can happen with these uh, plastic CD covers. Uh, they can fall apart, especially if they get cracked. I hate that. And as you can see, uh, it's cracked a little bit right there, and that's why the hinge just you know fell off. Uh, but you know that 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 comes with buying CDs. Uh, that does sometimes happen. Um, you can always just pop it right back on, even though this is being kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm about to just leave it off. There we go. All right, so if we want to flip around to the back of it, we have another shot of the trio, uh, Chic Louche on the left, uh, with Ghost in the center, and Jada on your right-hand side next to the track listings. Uh, it's all staying within the hue of um, the, you know, the general design of the front cover, as we saw. Some credits at the bottom. Uh, you know, you see Diddy's uh, actual government name. Um, like I said, the track list is right there. Um, we're staying within that theme and color of the aesthetic. Um, we'll open it up a little more gently this time. Uh, inside, you see the uh, CD, uh, you know, the cover of the actual CD itself or the printing on it, uh, which, you know, once again, the locks, Bad Boy Insignia um, on the right-hand side, uh, the year, Bad Boy Records, uh, more of uh, executive produce, you know, producer information, uh, Diddy's name, so on and so forth. Um, and still, you know, with that, um, it's a very, like, early, like, Photoshop effect. I'm not sure the name of it, but, you, you know, you, you can definitely see what I'm talking about. Um, which, you know, it covers, like, the locks faces. One of the shots from, like, the, or I, I believe that is the shot from the front cover. Uh, we already got to see the back of the CD when it fell out, most likely, but... I'll, uh, you know, right there, we can take a look at that. It's pretty basic. Some of the rest of what we saw that over there. And then we have, you know, the background. It's kind of like a, a zoomed in, uh, you know, shot of uh, where I would assume it says the locks because, you know, it's, the is clearly written. But I think, yeah, I think in the center is the locks right there, uh, the word, because that's, that's the O. So I would assume it's just like distorted uh, the left on, you know, I mean, the L on the left hand side and the X on the other side. Uh, if you don't know, uh, LOX actually stands for Living Off Experience. Just a random fact. Uh, then we have the back. Uh, you'll see that, you know, the dude, like I was saying, who's credited for design, stereotype right there again. Uh, another shot of the LOX. Um, you know, I want to say they probably, they probably put, like, a lighter, like, a filter over or something like that just to kind of distort their uh, features um, or, you know, make them less visible in what I would assume is highlight. Uh, that all right, so to continue, uh, you know, checking out the booklet uh, for the CD, uh, inside, uh, you know, we have more pictures, uh, you know, some close-up shots um, with, you know, like, thank yous from, uh, you know, each one of the locks right here. Um, Jadakiss, Styles, 
Sheik Lush. I'm trying to get as decent of a shot as I can. In case any of y'all want to just like pause it and you know read at your leisure. But yeah, I imagine uh, Sheik also has some thank yous. Uh, yes, yeah, so, you know it just it just opens up and wow, it's pretty cool. So like you know they get, there's like a frame. Wow, it's pretty dope. Uh, yeah, there's like a frame um, of a collage of like you know the locks going around the border of um, you know like the track listings that would be in the center. That's actually really cool. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I checked this out once before, probably when I first purchased it. Um, but uh, it's been it's been a while since I like you know checked that out. I kind of forgot about it, so I'm gonna pick the camera up just so we can. Uh, matter of fact, let's try and get a more focus shot right there and. You know, like I was saying, just in case you guys want to, like, read any of this, I'll try and scroll down, get the best shot I can. And you'll get a better idea of, like, what I was talking about with the frame, it being, like, you know, the locks around the border. That's pretty dope, though. Uh, I like how it opens up like that. And then uh, if we want to flip around to the back, um, yes, yeah, so, you know, we have the thank yous right there from Jada Kiss and Styles. Yeah, Sheik is on this side. It's just Sheik's is just a little bit more difficult to see uh, because we have that like, like you, I don't think I could read all that to be honest. Like, I guess you could, but it would be pretty difficult. Like, even some of Styles P's, uh, you know, some of his is like kind of cut off. Let me try and get no glare. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if you guys can read that. It's tough getting like the focus. Alright, so yeah, if you guys can read that, I'll give you an opportunity. Or pause or anything like that. And then we got, you know, more pictures of the locks. Uh, right, you know, right there. And there. There as well. That's the front cover. Uh, like you already know. Uh, and then we kind of got like a bigger picture in the center. Uh, just to, you know, get a decent shot of that. Uh, but yeah, uh, for the most part, that was, uh, you know, the locks, money, power, and respect. Uh, you know, great CD. Like I said, uh, you know, it kind of keeps me in that right state of mind when I'm, you know, I'm trying to like power through certain days or, you know, maybe I'm not really feeling it. It just kind of, you know, puts my mind in a, a certain type of mood for me to keep going. Uh, but, you know, that, that's more about the music. Uh, this is CVCDs where we talk more about the overall graphic design, packaging, and artwork um, of the cover. Uh, like I said before, that was uh, Money, Power, Respect by The Locks. Uh, thank you for checking this out. And